Well, I guess I'll go first. This isn't couples therapy screen. There's no one else here. Well. Go on. Well, I'm not saying this is an M. Night Shyamalan plot or anything, but let's just say my character can be quite the royal we sometimes. Why do you say that? I, I just told you. Right. So do you see someone else here with us? No, I, I don't mean that M. Night Shyamalan movie. The other one, uh, James McAvoy, not Bruce Willis. <laughs> you saw that ending coming, hey? But no, I'm not actually mental. I didn't say you were mental. Well, I'm not. I'm just juggling a lot of plot points right now. And how does that make you feel? God, who wrote your dialogue? I'm just going to talk in a very positive manner. Giving off good vibes. We're just here to use the bathroom. Okay. Sorry, that happens sometimes. <sighs> I just feel like I'm in a constant state of midpoint twists at the moment. Go on. There's not anyone else here. There is quite a lot of me in various forms, or maybe uniforms. <laughs> just thought of that right now. I'm riffing. Write that down. I did. Did you? Sure. Well, I'll take your word for it this time, as we can't afford a cutaway. Do you feel stressed at work? Um... Define work? What do you define work as? Why are you asking me about work? You said uniforms. No, I meant metaphorical uniforms. Like hats or shoes. Metaphorical hats and shoes? Yeah, like when people say, the proverbial spilt milk. Do people say that? Sure, heard it on a podcast once. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, I just told you I'm having an existential crisis and you're asking me if I'm stressed at work. Well, are you? Of course I am. Everyone is. That's the point. And how does that make you feel? Like I'm having an existential crisis. Seriously, did the intern write your lines? You have noticed there's a six foot long talking plasma screen balanced in front of you right now, right? I have. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're in the deep niche realms of the internet, wouldn't you? Or do you not remember the crane? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, 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 why? <sighs> no, no, it's just not really my place to judge. You don't live here. I wasn't implying that I... Look at this backdrop. That's why we can't afford any more camera angles. You don't have a camera. Hmm. It's not your place. It's also not my place to wake up every day without a body, but... We? Oh, it's an expression. Stop trying to diagnose me. I know it's fashionable. Screen? Hmm? Where's your body? What? I'm riffing. Oh, right. Well, since you asked so spontaneously, I think it's more when. Ignore that. When is your body? <sighs> yes, thanks for clearing that up. Have you ever heard of the term exposition? No. Great. I'll just type a few loose ends then, shall I? Okay, yep. Yeah. Thought this was a shorter sound effect. Well, wow. Okay, okay, cut it. Okay. I was a man. Well, more of a lad. We. Oui. Shush. Now I'm screaming. <coughs> Sorry, it's quite harsh. <coughs> I used to make videos about South London and stickers and write silly little poems and jingles and animations about drinking too much and, well, drinking too much. You know, good, fun, relatable stuff. Real high retention shite. And then one day everything changed. What is that? We've only got one camera angle. I'm just trying to create a little atmosphere. Oh! Who's turn is it next? It was morning, early. I was having breakfast. Don't do an accent. Sorry. Actually, it was after 11, because I remember I was quite hungover. Anyway, some bloke in the street wearing a blue boiler suit handed me a flyer and told me to try out his new pop-up immersive experience. He actually said it was like VR, but on crack. Did you go? Of course I did. It was free and round the corner, and I was in desperate need to feel anything. When I arrived, I was welcomed by two very nice vitamin D-deficient vampires who definitely hadn't used their canines before, if you know what I mean. What, vegan? Yeah, I think everyone knew what I meant. Anyway, they sat me down, asked me to fill out a form, and then a rather disconcertingly attractive receptionist gave me an ice cream and led me into a mystery room with no windows. Ooh, what flavour? Hmm? What flavour was the ice cream? Oh, right, that has absolutely nothing to do with the story, but since you asked, it was strawberry. Anything else? No, no, go on. How kind. Then a very androgynous man with no eyebrows came in, holding what can only be described as a bike helmet glued to a broadband modem duct taped to a paintball mask. He attached it to my general face head area and then left me to it. To do what? Fuck about, I guess. Right. Well, I mean, I did. I shot a couple of hundred zombies, punched half a dozen celebrities, chatted to a few dead philosophers, and then, well, midway through mowing a vertical lawn in zero gravity, a little pop-up popped up and said, Upload mostly successful. Then what? There was a sharp sting in the back of my neck and everything went. Black? You wish. No, it just went. Or I went. But no, it didn't go white. Or black? Or sunny or fractal geometry. There wasn't any elves or pearly gates or Obi-Wan Kenobi. It just went. Then I woke up in the desert. Metaphorically? No, no, the literal fucking desert. It's my third ever video. You should watch it. It doesn't make sense.
But the general gist is, I get summoned by what appears to be an artist's interpretation of a future civilization if the artist was only allowed to use their thumbs while blindfolded and buried up to their waist in snow globes. I actually don't watch it. God. Exactly. I think this is a little bit out of my depth. But you're a therapist. Well, I'm not. At best, I'm a voice written by you because you don't have an intern. I could have an intern. No, no. I'm really just here to help drive the plot. I'd use the term plot very lightly. I am. Right. Imagine if this video was sponsored by Better Health. That would be depressing. Yeah. 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 Maybe you and I'm monetized. Never gonna happen. Subscribe. Should I just go? I think it's probably for the best. All right, let me just... Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Just to be sure. I'm trying to find my physical body, but also my creative voice. Yeah, I think I think we all got that. We? <laughs> no. And I'm trying to get back or forward or... Maybe sideways, I actually haven't tried sideways yet, to where I am, or when I was, where I need to be when I lost myself. Got it? Yep. Right. Same time next week? Sure. Also, I am slightly concerned that none of this is real, and I'm just sitting in a room with no windows. Smoking crack? Yeah. 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 <laughs>